Welcome back. Well, for the delight parties are right around the corner. Actually, they probably started this weekend, and it's very important mm. for parents to remember the importance of vitamin D and food safety. And more than 76 million Americans will get food poisoning every year, and a lot of that can be avoided. So we're joined with Pat Baird this morning to explain what to do, how to prevent all of this from happening. Pat, yes. thank you for being here this it's morning. It's my pleasure. We're going to talk about food safety and more. I Actually, love it. Actually, overall guidelines for summer eating. But let's start right with that number that you gave, which is from the Centers for Disease Control. Um, and we really need to be careful. That means hot food hot and cold food cold. And in the summer, I've been to some barbecues at people's house where, you know, you gather in the backyard, they bring out a big plate of meat and they leave right. it next to the grill. Sure. And it, that is bacteria city. So, how do you prevent it? You prevent it when you're cooking at home, use a meat thermometer. Make sure you're getting the right internal temperature. Are they different according to different types of means? They are. Okay. For instance, uh, you want to cook poultry to 160 or 165. Right. There are new guidelines on cooking pork where the temperature is actually down to 140. Interesting. And you want to be sure you have a lot of containers that are thermal, mm. whether it's a thermos at, or freezer packs. And the most important part is hand washing and yes. sanitation. We do it in the kitchen. We forget about it when we're outside or at a picnic. So you want to bring lots of hand sanitizers and those hand wipes. Good idea anyways, because barbecue gets messy, so you need to wash your hands somehow, It does, regardless. and you want to wash and clean before you eat. Okay, you know, Nancy Nutritionist is here, so I'm going to tell yes. you summer's prime time for fruits and vegetables. Why do we make such a fuss about them? Because they are loaded with vitamins, minerals, water, fiber and have very few calories so all good things and you don't have to worry about food safety thing. no you do not and that is a great point so whether it's corn on the cob or watermelon or guacamole instead of a fatty creamy dip that's the way to go safer yeah choose the right fat Barbecues and picnics tend to be high in saturated fat. That's those creamy dips or cheese, uh, fatty meat. So you want to use less saturated fat. The overall guideline for fat is gone mm. from the new dietary guidelines. What they do say is to focus on the amount of saturated fat. Keep it to about 7% of your total calories Oh, okay. And, and this, that's on the back of everything, too, yes. if you're using so, canned foods. And, you know, you want to have maybe nuts and seeds uh, instead of chips. When you're grilling, look for leaner choices like pork. Yeah, why not? You know, if you're tired of chicken, which I'm hearing from everybody, you know, pork loin is what I use for these pork kebabs. They have about five grams of saturated fat. The overall recommendation is about 17 grams. So certainly fits in. That's good to know because everyone thinks chicken is so um, so much lower in fat, but it's kind it, of equivalent. It's about not... comparable. Wow. Yes, it huh. is, depending on it's how you make tip. your choices. And it's vitamin D, vitamin D. We really need to focus on this during the summer. The good news is people have gotten the news they're protecting their skin with a sunscreen. The dilemma is that a sunscreen above SPF 8 blocks the absorption of vitamin D from oh. the sun. So we want to focus on vitamin D rich foods, milk, Primo, top of the line. Eggs, vitamin uh, D fortified foods like orange juice and cereal. This actually may be a case where you want to consider a vitamin D supplement. Wow. Because wow. keep using those sunscreens. We don't want skin yes, cancer. Yes, definitely. We definitely. want everybody protected. I didn't realize that it blocks so much of the vitamin D. Pat Baird, great tips as usual. Thank you Thank for coming you. My on this pleasure. morning. And for more information about Pat or how to keep your barbecue safe this summer, head to our website, WTNH.com.
Just click on that on air tab, pull it down to the Good Morning Connecticut weekend section. And we're going to head over to Sam Cantrow, who is telling us that today is a great day to cook out, right, Sam? Absolutely. It's a perfect day for you to go and do that. Also, a perfect day to mow the lawn. The one thing you do have to be careful for is if you suffer from typical summertime allergies, that's grass pollen. Today is the day that you will likely end up sneezing and coughing if you do 